Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. I received so many requests to use Doodlebug's Barbecue 6x6 paper pad, I finally broke down and purchased it. Doodlebug always has the cutest paper collections in bright, cheerful colors. Along with the paper pad, I did pick up the odds and ends ephemera pieces so I could have some images for my cards. So here's just a quick look at all the ephemera pieces that are included in the pack. If you are interested in any of the barbecue collection, I do have a link provided in the description box below. And what's really fun about this video is I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Jen over at Scrapbana Creations. Together, we made a total of 28 cards and her cards are absolutely adorable. She colored up some really fun images. Now, I won't be coloring it all, I'll be using the ephemera, but it's always fun to see the different cards that we both create using the same paper collection. And Jen is amazing at coloring. So I will have a link provided in the description box for her video, and I'll also have it linked at the end of this video. Definitely go and check that out. For this video, I'm not doing my usual six by six style, and I'm not even finishing off the paper pad. I know that's very unusual for me, but I will use up most of it. I will be making at least two cards of each design, but I'll only show the process of assembling one. Now for this first card, I'm using a sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 544. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I show, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post and that link is provided in the description box below. The lemonade pattern paper is my favorite in the whole collection, so I wanted to make sure to start with that design. I have a tone on tone pattern for the background, it's a very muted design. And then behind that lemonade pattern paper, I have some yellow and white stripe paper. The yellow stripes really work nicely with the yellow in the lemons and having that striped paper between the background and then also that lemon paper helps break up the two since they both have that same light teal background color. And instead of layering the yellow and white striped paper in this dark teal color, I decided to add some extra sparkle. So I used some specialty cardstock from Tonic Studio. This is their Inca Gold Iridescent cardstock. It is so beautiful and super shiny. I also added some Love From Lizzie teal mirror peel-offs on the outside of that turquoise cardstock going down the left side of the card. The peel-offs add a beautiful finishing touch with a little bit of sparkle or shine depending on the style and color that you use. I cut out a scallop circle die cut, used some white pearlescent paper for that, adhered it to the card, and anywhere it goes off of other layers, I do add some scrap cardstock underneath just to keep all of the layers level. Now I'm using a couple of the ephemera pieces. I have the glass of lemonade and also the little lemon. I'm going to pop those up using some thin foam squares and then adhere them onto that circle die cut. Aren't they so cute? I'll be using an assortment of sentiment stamp sets. For this first card, the set is from Pretty Pink Posh. It has some nice, small, general sentiments. So I stamped out Just For You on some white cardstock, and then I'm trying to figure out where I want to place it on the card. I decided to put it above the lemon and to the right of the glass of lemonade. I'll add a small scrap of cardstock to the right-hand side where it goes off of that scallop circle die cut. And then I'll add one of the ephemera hearts in the teal color. I'm gonna pop it up using some foam squares. I was just trying to figure out where I wanna place it. I decided to do it off of the circle and put it more to the right-hand side of that sentiment. I'll use some Nouveau shimmer pen and add it to the ice cubes and also the little lemon attached to the glass and the heart. And then just final finishing touch, I'm gonna to use some more Love From Lizzie peel off stickers. This is the gold glitter in the mini star design. This is the newest style of peel off stickers and I love them. There are three different sizes of the stars on one sheet and you can add a little extra embellishment without the extra dimension. 
So there are my finished cards and I did make two using this sketch and I just used the pitcher of lemonade for the second card. Now moving on to my next set of cards. The sketch is Mojo Monday number 539. And this has been one of my favorite sketches lately. If you watch any of my videos, you've probably seen me use this one quite a bit. One of the reasons I love this sketch is if you're using a double-sided six by six paper, you'll have very little waste. The barbecue pattern paper in that strip on the side is from the same paper as the blue and white polka dot paper. Now the measurements listed on this sketch call for an inch and a half for that strip on the left hand side. I did decide to cut it one and three quarter inches just so I could have a little more of the image showing on that pattern paper. I'm using some leftover of that tone on tone teal paper for the little thin strip going across the card. I'm adding some blue mirror peel offs on the outside edge. And since I will be adding a circle die cut over that thin strip, I didn't have to have the peel offs going all the way across the card. This is always a great way to use up those smaller pieces of the peel offs. I also cut that blue scallop circle die cut out of the background cardstock layer just to save on some paper. I'm gonna add a stitched circle die cut, use some more pearlescent paper for that. I'll also add some scrap cardstock underneath the portion of the circle that goes off of all of those other layers. Adhere that using some liquid adhesive. And then for the banner on the left hand side, I'm using some solid red cardstock. I didn't want to add any more pattern paper. It would have been a little too busy on the card. So I'll just attach that using some liquid adhesive and then pull out some ephemera pieces. For this card, I'm using the barbecue utensils. And I have the one in the center with the hot dog. And even Doodlebug can make a hot dog adorable with its sweet little smiley face. It almost looks like it has hair with the little grill marks on the top. So I'm just attaching all of these using some liquid adhesive. I will put some foam squares on the very top area where the hot dog goes off of that circle. For the sentiment, I'm using a set from Pink and Main. And I'm just going to use the sentiment hello. I use a lot of general sentiments on my cards. That way they can be used year round. So even though this is a little more of a summer themed paper collection, people barbecue all year round. So I think this works just fine. Finishing touch, I'm going to use some more of the mini star peel offs from Love from Lizzie, this time in the silver mirror color. And you can see I've used this sheet quite a bit, but there are so many stickers on the one sheet, it's going to last a long time. So there are my finished cards. For the second card, I used the ketchup and mustard ephemera pieces. It's fun how even the condiments have a little smiley face on them. Moving on to the next set of cards. This sketch is from OWH. It's number 218. This is another favorite sketch of mine. I like to use a pattern paper for that larger rectangle. Since I don't color images, this is a great way to really show off some beautiful pattern paper. I have the tablecloth gingham paper for the background. I used the ant pattern paper for this strip that goes across the card. I'll be adding some Love From Lizzie peel off stickers. This is a green mirror color. Don't remember the exact name of this green, but it's very pretty. I'll layer all of this using some red cardstock. Attach my card front onto a card base. I do like to add a lot of cardstock layers to my cards, but using some of Love From Lizzie's peel offs can cut down on some of those extra layers because they'll still add that same contrast and separation. I did put some scrap cardstock on the upper portion of this pattern paper where it goes off of the ant paper. For the sentiment, I'm using a stamp from Queen & Company's brand new beach bound kit. I love this sentiment, sending you sunshine. It's one I will use quite a bit. I decided to stamp it on some real light yellow cardstock and I layered it in that red cardstock. I'm just going to add that little scrap of paper on the left hand side, keeping everything nice and level. 
And then I decided I'm gonna add one of the ephemera pieces. So this is the sun, since this goes perfectly with that sentiment. I'm gonna pop the whole sun up using some foam dimensional tape. And I only have the small pieces of the foam tape left, so I had to use quite a few of them. For the three small dots that are on the sketch, I decided to use some Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the mini circle style. It's just like the stars, it has the three different sizes. And this time I used the plain black color. So I did make two cards using this sketch. One of the suns has its eyes open and the other has the eyes closed. So moving on to the next set of cards, this is a sketch from Queen & Company. Queen & Company sketches were designed to work with their foundation dies. They currently have nine sets and they're all amazing. I think I use the foundation die sets more than any other dies that I own. Of course, you don't have to own the dies in order to use the sketches, but it does make it super easy to assemble your card. Now for this card, I'm using the watermelon paper for the background, and then I added the red polka dot paper, and then a tone on tone has a very light graph design on it in green. So those are my two long banners. I'm just adhering all of these using some liquid adhesive. I didn't want to add a lot of extra dimension on this card. It's always good to have a few cards that you can still mail without paying any additional postage. Now for the sentiment, I thought I was using one of their watermelon kits by Queen & Company, but I was wrong. I actually used one from their fruit basket kit. I do use one of the sentiment stamps from the watermelon kit. It's just on a card that I don't show the process. I'm adding a scalloped border underneath the sentiment. Just try to separate it a little bit from that white background. On my background, I also use two different colors for the matted layers. I first matted it in red and then in green. Put a scrap piece of cardstock on the left hand side of the hexagon before adhering it down. And now I'm going to pull out some ephemera pieces. I have two different watermelons. I have the half watermelon that'll go in the center of the hexagon. And then the slice of watermelon is going to go next to the sentiment. Since the very top of this slice of watermelon goes off of that other paper, I am going to add that small scrap just in that little triangle area. And then finishing touch, pulling out some more of the silver mirror mini stars. Put a couple of them in the upper right hand corner, then a few by the image, and then one tiny star above the sentiment. These are super tiny. It does help to use tweezers. So I did make a total of three cards, two of them with that same watermelon paper, and then the third one using some cherry paper. And I only had enough to make one card with that cherry paper, otherwise I would have done two. Now on to the next set of cards. This sketch is by Freshly Made Sketches. It's number 294. And I'm really not following this sketch very closely, more just using it for some inspiration. I selected some colorful polka dots for the background. And then for this smaller rectangle paper, I'm using this blue gingham design, layering everything in some navy blue cardstock. And I'll be creating a little bit of a scene. It's not an exact looking scene since there isn't really the sky, but I am gonna add this border of grass across the lower portion of the card. And then using just a few of the ephemera pieces, I have the picnic basket and a couple of the clouds. I did change my mind and only used one of the clouds. The ephemera pieces are on the larger size. So if you prefer smaller images, Doodlebug does have their mini icons and also their cardstock icon stickers. I thought this size worked nicely this time for the cards. Before I adhere the cloud down, I'm going to put that scrap piece of cardstock on the right hand side and I am going to have the cloud go off of the edge of the card just a little bit. I'll just flip over the card and trim that off. And I popped up the basket using some thin foam squares. Now I'm pulling out a few of the adorable little ant ephemera pieces. 
have those walking around all the grass. The sentiment is just to make you smile, and this is another one from Pink and Main. I'll just attach that underneath the two ants on the right hand side. Just use some liquid adhesive to adhere the ants. I'll put one foam square on the left hand side of that ant on the left. And there is my finished card. And then I did decide to add a little bit of sparkle to the cloud just using a Nouveau Shimmer Pen. And then for my second card, I also created a scene. This one is vertical instead of horizontal. I used one of the trees, another cloud, and then a couple of the flies. I never would have thought the flies would be cute, but Doodlebug can make anything adorable. Moving on to the next set of cards. This is a sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. It's number 249. I selected some colorful plaid paper for the background. And for this strip that goes across the card, I have the red polka dot paper, layering everything with some navy cardstock. For the panel on the right hand side, I use some white pearlescent paper. Just gonna add that scrap piece of cardstock underneath the upper portion and also just a thin piece underneath the bottom where it goes over that red polka dot paper. Put some ATG tape on the back and adhere it to my card. I had a little bit that went over the edge so I'm just trimming that off using my scissors. One of the pattern papers has a whole bunch of skinny strip sentiment and images I don't normally use them, but I thought it would be fun to include this one strip. So I have the rainbow and then also life's a picnic. I kept the two together. And just to add a little bit of separation between those two designs, I'm using a blue mirror love from Lizzie peel off. So I'll go ahead and put this panel on some blue cardstock. Then I can add my card front onto a card base. And if I didn't mention it before, most of my cardstock layers, I add an eighth of an inch to the measurements listed on the card sketches. And for this card, I'm going to use the little soda bottles. There's two different ephemera pieces. I'll attach the first one using some liquid adhesive, and then I'm gonna pop up the red soda bottle using some of the foam squares. And I'll overlap the two pieces just a little bit. And finishing touch, I'm gonna add a couple small stitched circle die cuts. These are from Lawn Fawn. I use this size circle die cut all the time. It's one of my favorites, it's perfect for embellishments. And then I'll add a few more of the Love From Lizzie mini star peel offs in the silver mirror color. I'll put three of them in that upper corner above the soda bottles and then two below. Now it's struggling with this last one, really, really tiny stars, but I love the extra little sparkle. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this sketch. On the second card, I used a couple of these fun kebab ephemera pieces. So now moving on to the next set of cards. This is a sketch from Mojo Monday. It's number 535. I love this sun pattern paper. I think just the teal and the yellow look so nice together. So I'm gonna have this sun pattern paper for the background using some leftover pieces that I used on a previous card. I have that yellow and white stripe piece and then I had just a small piece of this tone on tone pattern. Now on this sketch, it does have a three and a half by two inch piece but since I only had this one piece left over, I just cut it to three by two inches and then just shifted the piece off to the right. One thing that's always nice about card sketches is you can change up the measurements just depending on what size paper or images you wanna use on your card. I decided to add a sun image. The dies are from Queenie Company's Beach Bound Kit. And to add some extra sparkle, I cut those out of the Inca Gold Iridescent cardstock. I'm also using the sentiment Sending You Sunshine, which is part of Queen & Company's Beachbound Kit. I just stamped that on some white cardstock. 
I'll put a small foam square on the right hand side where it's going to go over the edge and then just adhere that to my card. Then just a finishing touch, adding some more of the mini star peel offs. This is the gold glitter color. So very simple card. I didn't use any ephemera pieces this time. I think with that busy pattern paper for the background, it didn't really need anything else. For my final set of cards, I'm using a couple of slimline dies by Craft Galley. I have the stitched scallops and also the square grid windows. I've gone ahead and cut out the two die cuts. I have the stitched rectangle and I am going to layer this on some more of the blue cardstock just for a little extra color. I didn't want to have a lot of that white border of the card base showing. For this scalloped frame, I was going to add some liquid adhesive to the back and adhere it onto the blue cardstock. And I cut this out using some of the pearlescent paper, or it's also called shimmer paper. I do have a link provided in the description box if you want to see where I purchase it. I buy it by the ream since I use the shimmer paper all the time. So I'll attach that card front onto my card base, leaving about an eighth of an inch border all around. This die is perfect for finishing off the last small scraps of your pattern paper. So I used 10 different pattern paper scraps that I still had, cut out all of these little squares. And one thing that's so nice about this die is all of those squares are exactly the same size. It's not always the case with some of the cover up dies when they have a bunch of different shapes in the background, but they are on this one. So they're actual squares. So just filled all of those in and try to make sure to balance out the colors and patterns. I am going to still add an ephemera piece. So I have a stitched circle die cut using some silver mirror cardstock. It's a really thin cardstock, so I wanted to add some stability. So I adhered another circle die cut underneath. I'm just going to add some foam dimensional tape to the back side, remove the backing, and then attach it to the left hand side of the card. And for this card, I'm using the blueberry pie ephemera piece. Doesn't that look delicious? Just glue that right down onto that circle die cut. For the sentiment on this card, I'm using another die set from Craft Galley. This is their uppercase alphabet set. The size of the letters is perfect for slimline cards. I am going to add some foam tape underneath all of the letters. And I've already done the other four. I just needed to add it to the H. I use this thin strip foam dimension from scrapbook.com. I actually learned about it from Jan at Scrapina Creations. And this is a great find, perfect for those really thin areas. She uses it a lot for some of her shaker cards to make that thin frame. So it's very handy to have. Now that I have my sentiment in place, I'm going to add some extra sparkle using sparkling crystals from Studio Cadia. I'm also using an embellishment wand and this is by Studio Cadia. I did have the black tip, but once they started selling colors, especially pink, I had to purchase the pink tip. There is no adhesive on the back of all of their pearls and gems, so you do need to have some liquid adhesive. The art glitter glue holds all of that bling really nicely. And then one final touch, I'm using some Nouveau glitter drops just to the top of the whipped cream. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of three using the Slimline dies by Craft Galley. With my Slimline die collection starting to grow, I had to purchase the extended platform for my die cut machine. Otherwise it was really hard to cut those out using the standard platform. Now here's just a quick recap of the 18 cards I made using Doodlebug Designs Barbecue 6x6 paper pad. This paper collection is so adorable. Now I didn't finish off the paper completely. I do still have one full sheet and a bunch of scraps, but I ended up donating those to my daughter so she can create her own cards. I'm so glad I finally decided to purchase this collection and it was really fun doing the collaboration with Jan over at Scrapbana Creations. 
be sure to head over to Jen's channel so you can check out the adorable cards she made using the same collection. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.